Uh, hello, folks, and welcome to Victoria 2 Heart of Darkness. Well, it's not just Heart of Darkness. It's Victoria 2 with the HPM mod, the Historical Project mod. I've actually never played uh, the Historical Project mod before, so this is going to be a first-time tryout of that. And uh, I imagine it's going to be people who are more experienced in the mod and in Victoria 2 overall. Uh, are probably gonna cringe a little bit at the things I'll do in this playthrough, but it's all in the spirit of fun, so let's get started. Now, it took me a while to actually settle on a country to play because, uh, you know, I have some experience with, with Victoria 2, not a lot though. Uh, I've played Brazil, I've played Sweden several times. Um, beyond that, actually, I think I've repeated those campaigns quite a bit personally and also on the channel. Uh, Oh right, I've played Ecuador once, uh, that was kind of tough, but I, I, you know, since we're trying out a new mod and all, I think I want to go with a big country. The US, I mean, sure, it has its appeal, but I don't really want to go through a civil war, and also it's almost a little bit too easy in my opinion, as far as I've seen, so I think Mexico will be kind of cool to try out, and uh, yeah, we hopefully will... Uh, create a, a huge empire here. It's already huge and an empire, but we're gonna make it bigger. And I hope we actually get some government changes along the way and flag changes, because that's uh, I think one of the most fun things about Victoria 2. For a while I actually considered playing Brazil or Portugal. It would be repetitive, but I mean, it's at the HPM mod, so there's a little bit more flavor going on. The only problem is that I really wish, the only thing I wish was included in Victoria 2, even in the mods, was a little bit more like historical flavor in terms of being able to enforce the dual monarchy again, uh, or the triple monarchy rather, because it's the kingdom of the Algarves as well. Uh, but Portugal, the Algarves, and Brazil, because technically the heir to the throne of Portugal is the emperor of Brazil at the time. Um, so. I don't know. I feel like it should be a thing you could do. Uh, but that's just me ranting. Sweden would also have been cool, but I don't know. I, I, I want to try the new world. Actually, I almost went Persia, but Persia would probably have been a little bit tough. Russia, I thought about for a second, but uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. We are going to go through the options here. I'm going to turn off anarcho-liberal ideology because that's just annoying. Um, and aside from that, ooh, Easter egg events, Easter egg events, yeah, of course I'll allow that. Uh, enable, right, Byzantium and all the cool stuff, of course, uh, and option spawn Ossetania. Right, I can't actually, so if I click that I think it just fires, like Ossetania becomes a thing. Uh, Ah, yes, the EIC mini mod will uh, allow localized province names, of course, I want that. No set trade policy, I think, is what we're going to set there. Fantastic, wait, oh, I have to actually un un undo that, okay. Alright, we started encouraging intellectuals, we've uh, set our economy to run like this, hopefully it will work out. I feel like we're going to be in debt, but whatever. And we are at war with Texas. Oh, Antonio Lopez de Santa Ana. The rebels shall be brought to their knees. Ah, so now we're in a state of chaos. Fantastic. All right, let's see how this uh, battle plays out here. We're dying in droves, but they have fewer men to die with, so... Here we go, let's uh, go occupy stuff. Ah, immigrant attraction and gold rush, fantastic. Durango, where's Durango? I wanna, I, I wanna see where that is. Durango. Aha, very nice. Oh, more gold, fantastic. See, I wish someone would tell me more about this trade screen here, it's kind of confusing. Um, Cause I wish, like, I know this, I feel like, can be manipulated somehow. Like, I can probably buy commodities in such a fashion that I, uh... Like, I can either flood the markets or 
create a scarcity, artificial scarcity somehow, but I just don't know how to do that. And I know that buying commodities in your, uh, like the, because it's basically a line, the person with more prestige gets to buy things before people with less prestige, so you always want to have high prestige, at least in vanilla. I don't know how it is in HPM. Outbreak of smallpox. Mm, do whatever we can, of course. Uh, the only scary thing about playing Mexico is, like, I, I see the United States, right? They have four times as many pops as I do. And uh, the whole invasion of Texas thing, you know, historically, led to, you know, a counter-invasion on the part of the United States and stuff. So, ah, uh, hmm. I don't know how this looks. You know what? Let's increase our relations. Oh, 100% reactionary. What happened here? We can, uh... Go back <laughs> and allow slavery. Of course, we're not going to do that. What's freedom of womb? Slaves are freed at birth in most cases. Wait, ah, so okay, so you keep the slavery population, the people who are already slaves, but that doesn't make any sense. Anyway, uh, I don't feel like I want to go back to any of these reforms. All right, Texas, welcome to the. Great Mexican Empire. We're gonna start building some naval bases to increase our colonial power, of course, and all that glorious stuff. Uh, I wonder though. Yeah, you know what? Wait, is that 18? That was 33. Mmm, lovely, lovely uh, prestige. But wait, why? Will all Texans become more liberal and more in favor of slavery? <laughs> Hilarious. The accession of Cre Queen Victoria, yes, glorious. Gain more reactionaries in the upper house. Uh huh, because people have risen up. Yeah, but. God damn it. Oh, there we go, more rebellion. Although, I, I do like consciousness, because that actually increases the consumption of goods within our country. Venezuela offers us an alliance. Uh, how about no? Positivism. Positivism? I don't know how to pronounce it, but yes, we are going for that after Maltusian thought. I'm gonna increase relations with Colombia here and see if they want to ally me. Because I do want to push down into Central America. Eventually, we're probably going to clash with Colombia, but it would be good to have an ally in the south. Apparently, we can reform the local government. Uh, so I didn't really, I don't really know what this does, but uh, we're going to do that. Let's build our first um, factory in our capital here. Let's see if that works out, hopefully. Ooh, a drought. That's pretty bad. Alright, screw it. Let's go to war with the Republic of Central America. We'll justify something later. I just have so much infamy that, you know, I should probably start using, and we have an acquire core goal, so let's go. Uh, what? First of all, there should be a pop-up whenever the US joins me. Uh, or joins in the war. But also, why? You weren't protected. I don't understand. That's stupid. Alright, I've loaded up the <laughs> autosave because I obviously I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that. Fight the US like that. Alright, so the ruling party, which has a hundred percent uh of the the house is trying to make or ban political like opposition parties and I don't know what the 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 route is here because obviously I want Mexico to become a democracy so that we can get more immigrant attraction but I don't know because we are technically a democracy right now and it's kind of annoying uh, but uh, exactly because it's like we have a hundred percent reactionaries in government somehow every time I think it's just event driven so we are going to go for this will cause too many problems ah uh, well 
but make them more reactionary. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know. Yeah, it will cause too many problems. Ah, finally! They'll accept an alliance. Thank you, United States. Ah, there we go. Now we can call in the US to fight with us, and so I don't have to actually uh, worry about that shit happening. Alright, hopefully this will uh, work out. As much as I'd love functionalism at the moment, I think we're gonna have to go for some basic industrial stuff here. All of a sudden, I uh, was... The, the war just ended. Like, I occupy that. I think the US probably peaced out. But then I have this option here, which is like, keep everything that we've gained, even though I didn't actually gain anything else, unfortunately. Uh, or... Uh, return, yeah, only keep the, the ones that we have a core on, and we do have a core on that, so it doesn't really matter. Looks like some of our colonies here are missing bureaucrats, but we're gonna make New Mexico a state. Uh, created a state, yeah, given statehood, yada yada yada. Nevada. You know, state, congratulations, well done. Mexican Colorado. Uh, uh, Mexican Oklahoma. And Kansas. Oh, looks like we have enough intellectuals, so I'm now gonna change my focus to get some more bureaucrats in our colonies. Oh, here we go. I didn't know this was coming, but... Looks like the Yucatan uh, Republic is being uh, proclaimed as a response to the centralization of power uh, since the eight of you know the abrogation of the 1824 Constitution. So this cannot be allowed, and I'm just open this up because I need to save, um, just in case. I was about to say Los Altos. What? What are you doing here? Uh, very strange, but I think they just seceded from uh, the Republic of Central America there. United States, please help me. Let's go. Time to do some idealism. Now, I don't know what this does. I feel like a white piece probably makes them independent, but I feel like this is probably uh, set up in such a way that this would not happen. I won the war against you. Did I just have to wait? Well, good thing I saved. Right, I have an ex-Yucatan here as a war goal, but I suppose it's the United States that has to actually send the peace offer, I, I hope. Correct. California, time to be become a state. Fantastic. And Mexican Wyoming, you too. Spain, I want a place in the sun, and you know what place that is. Cuba, of course, and uh, hopefully I think the U.S. is just going to help me do most of the heavy lifting in this case. Texas, welcome. Here's some statehood. Glorious. A place in the sun, uh, but also because, you know, we must put an end to Spanish imperialism. Utah, welcome, welcome. Alright, we've gained our, uh, our claim. Gain Cuba from Spain. And uh, the U.S. will join us. Fantastic. Fantastic stuff. Oh! Their fleets were here. Did not notice that. And we destroy them. Oh, they were transporting troops over. Oh, poor, poor souls. The jingoism mechanic is kind of annoying. Like, uh, we're so close. So close. I don't know why it has to be a hard limit. Why can't it be like, a, like it increase infamy costs for extra claims if you have lower than a certain amount? I don't know. But what's this? Ooh, I reinstate the conundrum mine, which blah 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 blah. blah. Ah, yes, more liberals, please. All right, let's activate some steel. All right, we finally have fleet. Basing rights in Britain, which means we can uh, sail over to British islands along the way uh, and then attack and blockade mainland Spain. Ah, damn it, the US peace out. 
before I could uh, I could finish. Arizona. Well, you're a state now. Congratulations. Uh oh. Here we go. The American ambassador has informed us that it would be in our best interest to sell the lands north of the Rio Grande to the United States. The amount they offer is considerable, and the Northwest Territories are of limited value to us. But it's almost an insult that they would think us so eager to give us up a, a rightful territory. We could gain what is that? A hundred thousand? That's nothing. Uh, should lose all of that stuff. No way. That land is rightfully mine. Oh no. Oh no. I thought I could avoid a war by being your ally, US. Like, I don't think there is a- there is no way I can win against the United States in this case. Like, winning would be... absurd, right? Unless... I don't know. I don't know. God damn it. I know this is a bit cheaty, but... We were very close to an alliance with the United Kingdom, actually, so... Here we go. You are joining us. Uh, the only thing I did was add them as an ally. And now they're just joining, okay? Wow, we actually wrecked this army. Uh, nice. Alright, we've lost a few battles, but we're gonna try start occupying stuff. And we are now a great power. Glorious. Alright, you claimed a bunch of shit for your, in your name. I'm gonna claim some stuff for me. Looks like the United Kingdom also wants American Liberia in the concession. Alright. And there we go. There's peace. Glorious. And Cuba can, of course, become a state. Excellent. And I know I had to cheat a little bit there with the UK and stuff, but... Um, yeah. I mean, I think that's the only point of the game where we will have to do that. So, let's refute Manifest Destiny. The American claims to our frontier have proven to be little more than empty air and bluster. Those land belong to us and no other. Boom. Wait, where did all my ships go? God damn it. Did they just vanish? They were, they were, they were right here. That must be a bug. Oh, Jacobin rebels. Oh, no. Oh, and the armies just happened to walk away from the capital. How untimely. All of a sudden, we also have a lot of immigrants coming in from across the world into Mexico. It's kind of curious, considering that, you know, we don't really have that many good democratic reforms. But, nonetheless, it's happening, so that's kind of nice. In fact, uh... How many are coming in from... Well, okay, internal migration, external migration, excellent. Lovely. Alright, it's 1850 and uh, we've done quite a bit here. Um, we survived the war against the US through non-normal means, but we are um, also still kind of a dictatorship. People are moving into our country, though, because they don't really care. The new world seems better than the old, so they come to Mexico anyway, and thus, we uh, are going to expand our population, and we're also letting these Jacobin rebels just slowly march into the capital city under the guise that, actually, uh, these are all rebellious troops, and they refuse to take orders, so we have a giant mutiny on, on their hands is what we're going to roleplay with. And then uh, hopefully we'll become a nice democratic republic. I hope you're sort of enjoying this. Uh, I know it's not super exciting, but, you know, it's good to try out new mods and stuff. Do let me know uh, tips about playing the HPM mod, maybe Mexico in particular, uh, or just anything in general. I would really appreciate that. In the meantime, this has been Game Gapster. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. Click that little bell button, and I'll see you later. Farewell.